Shohei Otani continues to return to form off his surgery. It has not impacted his bat at all. He has been MVP quality. It's been a really interesting series Friday. They walk, they load him up for Freeman. He goes granny. And the Dodgers rally after being down in the eighth. They win it 4-1. They were down in the eighth again yesterday. Rallied again in the ninth. Kike Hernandez celebrating his 10-year anniversary in Major League Baseball with a game-tying homer. He tied it again later, and then Will Smith walked it off. No computer glitches, man. The second half is underway, and we are now boarding. You're going to see James Paxton on the mound for Los Angeles. He doesn't have great stuff, and yet the team's 13-4 and four in the games he starts. Roby Gonzalez, the right-handed hitter, will lead off against Paxton. And he swings at the first one, drives it to left. Hernandez goes back. It's over to Oscar's head. Only jumped on that first pitch from James Paxton and the Red Sox, who are amongst the top teams in hitting doubles, don't rely on the green monster to have their leadoff man at second base. Man on second, nobody out. You'd like to see this guy get him in. And that's Jaron Duran. 0-1 pitch from Paxton. Swinging a fly ball. Left center carrying well. Pajas back to the wall. Turns around. It's gone! Jaron Duran! It's a two-run home run on the third pitch of the ball game, and the Red Sox take a two-nothing lead. How about Duran? Oh, what a homecoming! You know, he's been out here in LA. He's got all of his friends out here, and he has absolutely put on a show. The guy that has been unbelievable for the Red Sox is Cutter Crawford. This four-seam cutter combination work off of each other so well. Otani's been a leadoff guy, and he's been terrific. 0-2, oh, Otani swing and a miss, strike three. High fastball at 93. Well, the Red Sox are going. And right after Shohei this weekend, most part has paid off. Two down, Freddie Freeman, the batter. He swings and drives one deep to right field. There it goes. It's gone. A home run for Freeman. His 16th, and the Dodgers get on the board. He jumped all over a 92 mile an hour fastball that was middle middle, and he just hammered it into the right field pavilion. What a shot by Freeman. Hit the ball up in the air. It's going to carry. Nice job by Freddie. And it's a 2 1 ball game now in favor of Boston. And Andy Pajes, 2-2. Swing and a line drive down the right field side. That's a base hit. Rounding first and heading for second is Pajes. And that's a two-out stand-up double for Pajes. Going the other way with two strikes, opening up the zone, getting himself in scoring position with two outs. And Gavin Lux has been swinging the bat a little better lately. 3-2. Swing and a ground ball inside a third. That's a fair ball down the line. Pajes touches third. He will score. Racing for second base and beating the throw of the pop-up slide is Gavin Lux. And the game is tied at two on a two-out game-tying double by Gavin Lux. Three consecutive extra base hits. Gavin Lux the other way. David Hamilton stayed on Rafaela. And Romy Gonzalez against James Paxton. 2-2 pitch, swing it a hot shot, base it, back up the middle, a leadoff single for David Hamilton, who came into the game hitting just 216 against lefties, and that should get him going. Back-to-back -back steals for the speedster, Hamilton, who's now at third, and he picks up stolen base 24 and 25. We'll see a play at the plate with the speed at third base and one out. There's a swing and a miss. He struck him out, got him to chase a curveball. And Gonzalez goes down swinging. Second strike out of the ball game for Paxton. And this will bring up Jaron Duran. Paxton kicks and sends the pitch home. It's a curveball toward the middle. Rojas has it behind the bag, throws it into first in time to get him. For Paxton, he's able to work around the leadoff single in the two stolen bases. And the Red Sox come up scoreless. The Red Sox are right in the thick of the wild card. They need every win. 2-2, two, two, strike three call. Good curveball outside corner. And Tyler O'Neill frozen. That's the third strikeout of the ball game for Paxton. Rafael Devers. 1-2 from Paxton. Swinging a sharp grounder to third. Off the glove of Kike Hernandez. Cutting in front of the shortstop, Rojas. And that allows Devers to reach. Kike had to go a long way. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Barnes for strike three. So strikeout number four for Paxton. He lines one right at Gavin Lux, and that's a helper for James Paxton. And that retires the side. No runs, no hits, one error, one lap. Teoscar Hernandez, the base is empty and one away. And two ball, two strike pitch to Teoscar. He swings, hits a high fly ball to right toward the corner. It's deep. It is heading back. It is going a home run. And the Derby champion does it again. Teoscar Hernandez gives the Dodgers a 3-2 lead. Gavin Lux, a two-out RBI double his first time up. 1-0 pitch. Swung on, and that's well hit to left. It is carrying. It is back toward the wall. It is gone. A home run 
for Lux. Oh, his second one of the series, his fifth of the year, and the Dodgers have extended their lead four to two. One ball and no strikes to Austin Barnes. He's 0 for 1, grounded out to 30. Swings, hits a high drive deep to left. This ball is back. This ball is gone. It's the first home run of the season for Austin Barnes. And it's 5 to 2. Well, he doesn't hit a lot of them, but this one was loud today. Shohei Otani feeling a little left out. Seems like everybody's hitting home runs in the lineup but him. Otani, right field. About it. A massive shot. Wow. And Otani joins the home run party. A 30 home run season for Shohei Otani. 473 feet for Shohei Otani. That was a shot. He almost hit it out of here. I think that's the furthest ball I've seen hit at this stadium. I've seen Giancarlo Stanton go over everything in left field. For Otani, it's the second longest home run of the season. Thought we had a home run derby a few nights ago. Two down, still runners at the corners, and the number nine hitter, Sedan Raffaella. Here's Raffaella. First pitch on the ground in the hole. That's good for a hit. Sedan Raffaella, the number nine hitter, delivers Connor Wong, and it's 6-3. Raffaella, not afraid of going after that first pitch, gets it. Breaking pitch. Lux with his fourth stolen base. Why wouldn't you run on Kelly Jansen? He's talking about the Hall of Fame. Kevin has a little understanding about what that is about. His dad in the Hall of Fame. And Biggio strokes one into right center. That's a base hit. Here comes Lux around third. He will score. Kevin Biggio gets an insurance run home in the bottom of the eighth inning with a two-out single. It is seven to three Dodgers. Oh, one to Hayward. That ball is lifted deep to right field. And over the wall for Jason. A half dozen home runs on Sunday night. Jason Hayward, the anti Otani shot. This one just crawled over the wall, but they got a six pack of ding dongs tonight. It's Long way to go down six. Yeah, it still could get interesting. You got Jaron Duran up second and third. Nobody out there down six. Oh, one Duran lines one to deep left field. Hernandez back to the track near the wall. It's over his head and bangs off the fence. It's going to bring in two runs. Rafaela touches home. Dom Smith three steps behind him. And Jaron Duran gets to second base with a two run double. It's a 9 5 ball game. Masataka Yoshida, the lefty, who has reached three times in four trips tonight. Wong's at first, Evers at second, Duran at third. And on the ground to second, and that will not do it. They took too much time. The run comes in. It looked like a tailor made double play as it came off the bat at 103. 9 6 is a dangerous hitter and a brave. Underneath it, he popped it up. Hayward points to his center fielder, and that will end it. The Dodgers sweep the Red Sox. And for only the second time on a Sunday this season, Boston loses the baseball game. Dodgers a half dozen homers, including one that went 473 feet from Otani. They win it 9-6.